Hey everyone, so of course you know if you ever get a special text from either your crush or even your boyfriend or someone that you really really like, it's always very exciting to finally get asked out. But sometimes the first question we ask is, what the hell do we wear? So for you guys that are interested in the kawaii lookbook or just kawaii clothes in general and you do not know how to that and you do not know what to wear at all, Hopefully this will give you a few pointers for what types of dates you can wear these outfits for and look kawaii at the same time. Or just really, really cute. So, here we go and let's enjoy. So the first outfit I would say is more like a concert concert date outfit because I've worn this to a concert myself and I felt very comfortable yet still very sleek and sexy. It's not too revealing and it's not too casual and if you wear the right ankle booties or just like boots or just cowboy boots, anything for that matter that kind of like makes the foot look very presentable, it kind of matches with your kind of denim casual look. It's not too overdressed and it's not too underdressed. It's just the right texture and it keeps it cute but casual in the most relaxing way. So for all you fancy, fancy, fancy dinner date people, this is the look for you. You don't have to exactly wear this dress or exactly this type of dress, but something that's semi-casual but more so along the fancy side because when you go on a dinner date, it is kind of fancy, so you have to look a little cute, but don't look like you just came out of like an opera show. But what I'm trying to say is I just wore this dress that I got from Yes Style and yes it looks a little short so if you have something like that just wear an underdress or an under skirt, a kind of like a poofy petticoat skirt to help it just puff it up a little bit. It'll just help it look more curvaceous and it'll keep you from feeling awkward if you trip, fall, or bend over or squat. Just saying, it does help. And you can wear tights or just high knee socks I just had high knee socks at the moment so and that's why I decided to wear for that second look now for the third outfit I would probably say if you have a special someone that's your tutor you have a crush on or just a guy that you're studying with or anybody that you're studying with and you have a crush on this will probably be like a simple but cute outfit to wear kind of show off that you're still a girl but you're ready to study and it's a little bit inspired from an anime kind of perspective but it could be something similar to this it doesn't have to be this exact same look just look for something that's very studious but still shows your feminine cute side at the same time or you could just wear like really cute skinny jeans with this. It doesn't really matter. I just thought, you know, putting in a little simple but yet like very sophisticated sailor look would actually just inspire him or the person you're talking to to show that, hey, I'm still cute but I can get the job done of reading this book. So that's my look. If you're having a library date or just a steady date, this would be a great look. Now for the fourth look, if you're feeling kind of cold, this is for you. The fourth look is something that you would have if you're up in the mountains and you're in this little cabin or if you're on a coffee date and it's kind of cold or you're just feeling a little cold. You can still look cute, but you know, with layers. There's nothing wrong with that. So I decided to put this outfit together with this kind of like, it was like a summer spring dress that I had that I usually don't wear, but I decided to pair it with this tank top. I mean, not tank top this turtleneck because it kind of brings out the colors of both of them and it doesn't overbalance any of the colors or the spectrum. But since my turtleneck looks a little loose, if you have a more fitted turtleneck, 
it works a lot more better because it gives your body a really nice silhouette without being too suggestive. It's very simple and comforting and romantic in the cute terms of kawaii. Now for the last one, if you are not doing anything but just hanging out with some friends or just going around town or just, you know, I guess Netflix and chill but not in the sexual kind of manner, this casual date outfit would be the one for you. You don't have to do anything extreme. I decided to put my hair in two ponytails, or like a lower two ponytails, and decided to wear this pink shirt that I got at Old Navy, and I decided to put this dark gray pleated skirt that I also got from the thrift store along with my other skirts that you see in here. I got it from the thrift store and I thought, hey, you know what? Let's just go simple and cute. So if you guys are like me and you're single on Valentine's Day, do not feel bad. It is okay. And I'm not doing this just for Valentine's Day. I'm doing it because if you don't have a date, these are good to watch too. But just remember that you are beautiful and there are people out there who like you and you just don't even freaking know it. <laughs> so chill out and just watch some TV like I'm doing. I'm watching the Korean channel. Don't mind me. I'm being really weird. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to spread peace. Love and happiness, and don't forget, it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! Blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh.